Hey weirdos, before I start this video, I just want to throw it out there that this particular video is just for fun. This is not a tutorial on how to make this project. If you do decide to get into something that we're going to be discussing in this video, please check out the links down below. Please do your own research and as always, be as safe as you can. A lot of things can go wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to the Evil Air. Your villain, Pocan Joe here. And in this Evil Air project, we're not doing a giveaway. We're going to make rockets. And we're going to use a YouTube classic. Thousands of videos on YouTube about this particular project. It's called the Sugar Rocket, or KNO3 Rocket. Which is basically just a, a mixture of 65% potassium nitrate and 35% powdered sugar, hence the name. Right, the sugar rocket. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into this one in the first part. We're going to cut down some PVC pipe. We're going to put it on a coring board. I'll explain why we use a core, an empty core in this later. And uh, we'll mix up our rocket fuel. And I'll explain why that why that's significant when I have some to show you. So uh, let's just jump into this one. Let's just do this, right, and see where it takes us. Rockets. Rocket science. Okay, weirdos, let's, uh, let's break down some science real quick, the science of this. So one, why am I putting a core in the middle of it, and why am I putting a plug in it? Boom. And you can see it's cored out. This is so when I put my fuel in it, we'll have the rods back in it again, we create a cavity in there. We fill it up, and then we'll cap off the top. Why are we doing that? The reason why we put a core in it, if we didn't, we just put the fuel in it, right? That's its surface area to burn, which would create a very slow burn, not enough thrust to get it up off the ground. So what we do is we put a core in it. Down the center here. This way, instead of just, just that surface area burning, we got the entire length burning so everything burns outward. More surface area, more gases build up, and then they shoot out the bottom, right? Launching this into the air, creating more floods. Think of the same concept when you use a hose, right? If you just turn on the hose and just let it pour out, it only goes so far. But the moment you stick your thumb on it, it creates pressure and it shoots out of the... Right? You following me? So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go ahead and make up our fuel and we're going to use um, candy rocket fuel. Basically powdered sugar and potassium nitrate. Um, it's hard to get potassium nitrate. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a stump remover that has uh, over 90% uh, potassium nitrate. So what's potassium nitrate? Potassium nitrate is, it holds oxygen molecules very, very well. So we need that oxygen, and then the sugar is the stuff that burns inside of it. So, right, how do you create a fire, right? You need some sort of energy source to light it. You need a fuel to keep it going, 
right? Same concept here, the powdered sugar is what burns. Adding oxygen to it, like potassium nitrate, creates a vigorous reaction. It means it burns really fast, like a fuse. Boom, just goes off, right? So yeah, so uh, let's cook up some fuel. We're gonna get some powdered sugar, potassium nitrate. We're gonna melt them down together so we can pour them in here, creating a core, and then we'll launch it off. That's a lot of explanation, let's just do it. Let's, as always, let's just do it. So uh, once that's cooled down, it should dry into a nice hard rock type substance. It uh, should be pretty good to go there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cap them off uh, using some bentonite clay again, right? Because we don't want gas to come out of the top of it, right? Just the back. Uh, we'll put a little surprise in one of them, a little poof, you know, dramatic effect. And uh, we'll uh, prime them and then paint them. I'm thinking silver like a silver bullet. We'll do that and uh, give you a quick reminder if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay on top of all the villainy that we do here. So uh, let's clean them up, get them done. Here we go.
more bad news is the military base right around me. So we're not going to be shooting these straight up into the air. We're going to have to shoot them linearly. Uh, I'll probably hang up a line out back. We have my boys are out there training. I don't know if you can see them. But uh, not that the rockets go that high, but I would imagine that they have, like, you know, if something travels in their direction, probably sets off some alarms. And uh, I'm like, I'm not trying to go to jail. So <laughs> we're, we're going to set something up out back. Let's jump out back there real quick. Let's play some music. By the way, have you commented on this yet? You should comment on this video because this is another one where we just can't do what we want. But that's all right. We're still going to make it happen. Let's go. <laughs> okay, weirdos, that's it. That was pretty cool. Watching it shoot across the yard like that. Yes, I wanted to shoot it up into the air, um, but that didn't happen. But rocketry is a great way to experiment with basic physics using potential energy or fuels and stuff like that. And then the energy it actually produces and the things it has to combat and how it goes back and forth. I highly recommend it if you got small kids around there. Definitely get involved. Uh, most hobby rocket kits you can pick up at a store you don't have to make your own and you know always be safe right make sure you're putting it off in a in a place that's safe right you have to do that i did literally drove around for a while to see if i could get outside of the area where the planes were practicing for a while and that just didn't happen that just just wasn't happening uh, we saw the little trails up in the sky so we were like, nah, probably not. But all in all, this was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. Definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments down below if you have any suggestions. Uh, definitely check the link out down below if you want to get interested into rocketry. It's always good to have somebody you can talk to. So definitely check that out down below. Guys, that was fun for what it was, shooting across the zip line, and it was fast. So maybe right about now I should have a calculation of about how fast it was going once I go back and look at the footage. Um, we'll, we'll break it down for you. Yeah. So uh, definitely check the description out down below. I got a merch store. I sell coffee and rocketry, of course. All right, guys. I got to get out of here. We got another project to jump off into for next month, and it's going to be a doozy. This one, this one's going to be a giveaway. You should have some fun. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Sorry. You don't get to make things do that and not warn me first. I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>